the fact that you know Kenya has managed to onboard about 10,000 services you know on ICT platform I mean is a sign that it can be done elsewhere but this is also coming with the risk of attacks and we saw uh, I think it was last month or yes. last month but one where you know Kenya was under attack by various cyber uh, uh, criminals through DTT, D DDTS. Uh, so are we also likely to have a conversation around how to safeguard ICT infrastructure and ICT services in Africa during the conference? Thank you very much. And uh, you know, the issues around um, safety mm -hmm. of uh, on the online space and uh, cyber security, data privacy, are very central to digitization uh, you know, of government. Uh, first, let me clarify and say that, uh, you know, we suffered a number of attempted attacks. Mm -hmm. And these attempted attacks were not only targeted to government systems, they were also targeted to uh, private sector uh, systems. However, you know, because of the measures that we have been able to put in place, we were able to deal with those uh, attacks mm -hmm. and, you know, fully restore all services. And we can confirm at least that uh, there was no data breach, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But from that incident alone, and in fact, from where we sit, we believe it was, uh, it was coming. And that is not the first or the last att attempted attack that we are going to experience. Mm -hmm. More and more attacks are going to come because as we expand the footprint of technology, as we bring people, more people online, then we are also increasing, uh, you know, the surface of attack yeah. and the exposure that uh, then we're exposing our systems and also our people. Mm -hmm.